Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we use Java 8's optional to replace null checks in our code? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is refactoring their code to Java 8 and wants to eliminate null checks. They have a method that retrieves an employee by ID, but it currently returns null if no employee is found. They wonder if using optional could be a better approach. The current implementation checks if the employee list is empty and returns null if it is. However, using optional dot of nullable directly on the employee list's first element can lead to an index out of bounds exception. So what should we do instead? Should we replace null with optional dot empty? This is a great question and a key point in our discussion today. Let's explore the best practices for using optional in this scenario. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's start by understanding the problem. We have a method that retrieves an employee by their ID, but it currently returns null if no employee is found. In Java 8, we can use the optional class to avoid returning null. This helps us to handle the absence of a value more gracefully. To implement this, we can modify our method to return an optional employee. We will check if the employee list is empty and return optional.empty if it is. This way, if no employee is found, we return optional.empty, which clearly indicates the absence of a value value without using null. In summary, by using optional, we enhance our method's safety and clarity. Remember to handle the optional in the calling code appropriately. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid returning null in Java, you can use optional. For example, replace your method with one that returns optional employee. This way, if the employee list is empty, you return optional.empty. If not, use optional.nullable to handle potential null values. This approach forces the caller to handle the absence of a value, making the code less error prone. Instead of ignoring null checks, the caller must consider what to do when the result is empty. You can also chain optional methods for more fluent code. For instance, you can throw an exception if the employee is not found, enhancing clarity and safety in your code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To avoid returning null in Java 8, you can use optional. This approach filters the list and returns the first element if it's not empty. If your list can be null, use optional.nullable to handle that case safely. 
And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.